Bat. I think this is the first time Raja is representing the, the team down at Kimikai here in Australia. Good. Ready to fight? Ready to fight? But, mate, he's got a, an impressive resume, as you said. So for the viewers at home, Raja with the white trunks. When he's not training, mate, obviously spends a bit of time in the tattoo shop. Very wise decision by Bartet to go in and clinch. Wanting to stand with Raja would be a mistake. Raja might have his ground game tested, definitely his wrestling. Let's see how he's prepared for this. He feels in great shape, awesome preparation period, no injuries. Mate, Raphael looks, uh, looks bigger. I think he weighed in at about 67 kilos, but he looks a lot bigger than that. Raphael is one of those guys that he just doesn't stop training. He's always working. He's always working his, his, his improvements. He's always trying to improve, you know, just trying to reinvent himself every time he comes out. Oh, oh. big looping left there from... Raja lands that beautiful looping left hand. If he chooses to stand with Raja, this could be a... This could be an early night. Yeah, and I think uh, Raphael's just felt the power of Raja. He's looking super composed there in centre cage. Look at that clinch. Now, his tie clinch is just... Instead of throwing a left hook, he'll just clinch with that single plumb. Very, very cool. What a skill. What a skill. You almost slap him in the ear drums when, you, when you're doing that. Well, you had a chat to him out the back. Is he planning on basing himself out here for a while? or is Yeah, he... absolutely, absolutely. He's wanting to make Australia his home. He wants to definitely set up camp down here. He's obviously got a, a, an excellent camp with um, Ed and the boys down at Kim, Kim and Kai. But right now... Bartet, he's been able to clinch and close that distance. Let go the cage, Raph, let go the cage. Game plans are in effect right now. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by Raja. Oh, spinning back fist, beautiful job. Yeah, that, that means it landed, that's what it means. Yeah, Raphael just trying to call him on, but I'll tell oh, you what, don't get sucked into it. Well, Raja's starting to plant his feet and he's starting to dig in. 247 in round one, plenty of time. But he's just looking so composed there in center, center cage. And he's, uh, he's bringing all the highlights, mate. So the boys backstage are going to have a big job cutting the highlights out for this one. Oh, beautiful straight left down the pipe by, by Bartet. Oh, head kick by Bartet. He nails Roger right on the chin. Hey, Roger, Roger was... Shippers is in trouble right now. He was showboating a bit, mate, and he got tagged. Raja's going to have to work very hard right now to shake those cobwebs. It's not looking good right now. Bartet is doing a hell of a job trying to keep the pressure on him right now, Bushy. Referee's having a good hard look at it. Mate, still two minutes to go in this first round, and Raja was, he was setting up some good highlight reels, mate, and he started to showboat a bit and got tagged by Raphael. He's got that overhook going for him right now. He, he doesn't look totally out of it. No, it looks like he's got his composure back, but uh, Raphael just like a bulldog, just trying to get straight back onto him. Raja bringing his guard up nice and high. He's trying to look for that armbar. He's trying to go for it. He's got his ankles crossed. Hard to see from this position. Crossing the ankles doesn't put enough pressure on the neck there when you're chasing that armbar. He might be just faking the armbar and looking to go for the knee. We'll see how he goes. He might go to a leg transition here. Usually when you see him underhooking that, that uh, left leg, they might be looking at using the armbar as a bait and then going for a knee bar. We'll see what he does. Bartet is doing a good job staying heavy and, and, and putting plenty of weight, sprawling and stacking on that arm. You don't want to pull away from it because it actually straighten your own arm out. You want to keep your weight on top and stack their hamstrings on top of their chest to try and soften the pressure. And he's certainly got his composure back as Raja. See, he's got his ankles crossed there. That, that, that's not ideal. Now, he might be using it to try and push off the cage. I'm not too sure exactly but what's going on immediately right there. But, but Ted's doing a good job at, at, at defending that, uh, that attack. He's looking at setting up the pyramid. He's got wrist control there. He's trying to bring up. He's got that overhook on the left. Wrist control on the right. You can see him bring his left leg over. There it is. He's going to look for a triangle. He's got the triangle. This is very dangerous for Rafael Bartet right now. If he underhooks the leg, he can cinch this up. This could be curtains. If Raja can just underhook the leg, he's got a straight armbar on that as well. Bartet's going to... Oh, he slams his way out. Oh, my God. Raja's out. He's out cold. Right, there you have it, mate.
Ryan slammed to the canvas and knocked out when his head hit the canvas. Raphael was almost out of it, Frank. Let's have a look at some of these highlights when they come up. But, mate, you never say never in centre cage. Raphael was almost out of it, mate, with that... Uh, Mate, I'm speechless, but 